So here we've got an iPod dock, brand new, from 2005, even though um, it is now 2022. Yeah, we can see the date on that. Still brand new and sealed. I'm going to test this with an iPod Classic 6th generation. The 5th generation didn't need a dock for video out, but this 6th generation does. Oh, let's have a look. Pick this up for five pounds today, which would have been worth a lot more at the time. It's completely brand new and still sealed. I don't you know what you get in the box? You might get a dock and a cable, or it might just be the dock. This is going back many years. Says so the user guide. Sure that is it looks like the base maybe of the dock looks like maybe you have to build some of it up oh there's two parts of the dock that look the same maybe it's for different oh yeah i think it's different adapters for different ipods because they're different shapes so there's no cables which is annoying so we're gonna have to buy the video out cable And these are the two docks or dock adapters. Not sure which one that's for. You see the different. Ah, I think it's just because the some of them are fatter. If you look at that one, it's quite thin. That's 120 gig, whereas 160 gig that I also happen to have here is a bit thicker. So I think that's why you get the two different adapters. So here's the dock. Could have a look at the instructions, or we could try and guess. That's the video out, we don't have that cable, and I was hoping it's going to be in the box. And that's the audio out, which we could try today. Uh, so we need the smaller adapter. Actually, it says 20 and 30 gig, but the one we've got is 120, so hopefully it'll work. And this dock is older than the actual iPod that we've got. Looks like it just goes on there. Hmm, that was quite easy. That's quite a nice heavy dock. And we've got the iPod itself, which is ready to play something. Let's see if it charges. Through there. Hmm, that's not actually charging at the moment. Maybe it only charge through a power brick. Have you got the wireless power brick? I'm gonna try that in a second. It's not powering through there. Even though I've got that in a powered dock. It's not working. Let's have a look on this. I've got some power in here. Again, it doesn't seem to be charging the iPod. That's a bit disappointing. Maybe we need to read the manual. But definitely doesn't seem to be getting power through the dock. So what is the point of it? Other than the video. What we will try is a little bit of music. I can't play much for copyright. Let's see if through the headphone jack which obviously you could, I think the idea was you could plug this into a hi-fi, so if you had an old like CD micro system with a auxiliary import, you could then play the music off your iPod through the dock and into your hi-fi without having to mess about using the headphone port all the time at the top. So we've just got some headphones. I'm gonna see now if I can play. And there you go. That is working through there. So the music, is working fine, but for some reason it is not charging through the dot port. Let's just double check that the cable's okay. We've got a few old cables. Ah, maybe that is the problem. Maybe it's the cable. Let me try the other iPod to make sure it's not the iPod itself.
So we had a problem with the dock before. We thought it wasn't charging, but it turns out it was the cable. We were using a genuine cable before, but it seems to have gone faulty. So we've got a third party cable here, just plugged into a battery power pack, but obviously it could be plugged into the mains. And there you go, it's charging. So yeah, this was quite a cool accessory back in the day because you could just leave this next to your bedside or plugged into a hi-fi and you're not having to mess about with the cable every time because you could leave that plugged into the back and just drop the iPod into there and have it charging through there as well as the audio going out of there. The only annoying thing that's typical of Apple is you, you don't get any cables. So you've still got to buy a cable for charging cable if you want to go from audio out to your hi-fi or you just plug headphones in and this which is a really old video out called s video you can still get these cables on ebay and amazon so they are still available uh, and if you did that then obviously the videos that are on the ipod you could then play through ttv this is long before the days when we had um wireless TVs like the Apple TV and things like that. So there you go. You've now got an accessory from 17 years ago, opened up for the first time, which might become more popular now that Apple have discontinued all iPods, including the recent iPod Touch. People are starting to buy more and more of these iPod classics um, and obviously wanting some cool accessories for it. So if you're lucky enough to go and get one, when we got this today, from the market, they actually had one brand new sealed uh, and another one that had already been opened. So they are still available. And I guess these were probably somewhere between 30 and 50 pound when they first came out, but we'll, we'll have a look at that later. So thank you for looking at our video. The next video we'll do is on an iPod mini dock and we'll, we'll do that later this week.